what exactly are they doing, for example, on a daily basis? What is the task of a front engineer? For more researchy stuff that I do, it is I need this AI to perform sentiment analysis on this large data set. So I spend a bunch of time asking it to classify a few samples and I keep editing the prompt until it can classify the samples well and then I expand to test on larger test set and eventually the whole data set. So that is a more researchy aspect but on the other end you could be a prompt engineer who generates art uh, or generates marketing content and so your time could be spent typing in words to find the perfect image or asking it to you know, write a hundred uh, marketing, marketing what? A um, hundred like different phrases to try to market your brand. So maybe you're selling, gosh, what do people sell these days? Shares, red shares. You ask it to write a bunch of sort of one-liners about your uh, red shares and then you could spend your time looking through all of those and iterating on them so it really depends what the heck you're working on i will say generally it is an iterative process so you'll start with some prompt see what you get refine 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 but across the like field of prompt engineering the industry of prompt engineering there is probably not that much consistent what people are actually but it will mainly lies within uh, scaling something like trying to you you basically a prompt engineer would mainly there, there are other uh, other work for sure but would mainly try to use well talk with the ai to scale something that would require too much time to do for a human for example as you mentioned try to, to have a hundred variations of a, a sailing pitch or something like basically just yeah prompt a prompt engineer would mainly try to generalize something like scale yes scale something for you just as you mentioned you try to to make it classify something and then have it generalized to anything that that is similar to to the to the thing to classify so it's basically to use in a way that is scalable with however uh, requests you want in the future so that you don't have a human to that that has to sit and go through all of them right I think that like a lot of the time that is the goal, but if you're trying to iterate on an image, that is probably not something that is going to save you a ton of time in the future in that super scalable way. Uh, and some of the applications are not really that scalable. Like people are using bot to make an FAQ page for their website answer FAQ content. So those are not exactly super scalable things necessarily, but they are trying to save human time. And who can become a prompt engineer? Is it anyone? Or you mentioned that some, most jobs don't, most prompt engineer jobs, if there are many, most of these jobs are basically requiring you to not only do prompt engineer, but also do something else. And so who can become a prompt engineer considering that you also need other skills? Is it only already developers, like already people already familiar with Python or, or whatever like programming language? Or is there anyone else that can become a prompt engineer? What is the maybe typical profile or coverable profile. I think you definitely see a lot of developers, but anybody can become a prompt engineer, right? You could see a really good example of this 
is people on profit base who go and uh, iterate on some text or image prompt and then sell that. Uh, and they are doing prompt engineering and getting paid for it, which at that point it feels fair to call them a prompt engineer. But typical profiles are often people who have some even minimal technical experience, so a bit of Python maybe, and they are getting into AI and see this super cool prompt engineering stuff and realize that combining their developer skill set and new knowledge of AI, they can make cool stuff and maybe get paid for that. So typical profile, again, is probably someone with a bit of development experience, but you don't need that. And there's tons and tons of people who have no technical experience whatsoever, and that is completely fine.